Hello! Glad to welcome you on our video channel Pumps Audi. In this presentation we will try to answer on most important questions for all pump users. What needs to be done to keep the pumps running reliably and efficiently? The answer on this question is quite simple. The pump operates effectively if the operating point is within the pump operating range. If the operating point lies outside the operating range, the pump operates with low efficiency. The same situation with pump reliability. Very often pump users do not connect mechanical problems with the position of the operating point. This graph illustrates how reliability of a pump depends on the position of the operating point. What problems may arise when operating point lays outside the operating range? If pump breaks down, the pump users usually think that this pump is of poor quality and manufacturer is responsible for it, not improper pump operation. Even though this question may seem simple, I'd like to remind you that the pump operating point or duty point is the intersection of the pump curve and the system curve. It means that the pump and the system define the operation of each other. The pump works in the system, not by itself. This is the main idea we should keep in mind, but pump users very often forget about this. The pump operating point goes along the QH curve depending on how the system characteristic changes in time. It can lie within the allowable operating range and in this case the pump operates with high efficiency and reliability or can go outside of the operating range and in this case the pump operates with low efficiency and low reliability. Let's consider some common misunderstandings among pump users. First one, the pump operates by itself. It means that pump users do not think about system curve. Many users even do not know what is it. The second one, if the pump operates with low efficiency. It means that the pump has low efficiency. Pump users do not think about run selection, pump oversizing, etc. The third one. If the pump breaks down, it happens because the pump has a defect. The pump manufacturer is responsible for all pump breakdowns. The pump operating point is the latest thing users think about. The pump always operates at one flow and one head, with the flow and the head which are shown on the nameplate. Some rules to provide efficient and reliable pump operation. The pump operating point should be within the pump allowable operating range. It should be performed for all operating modes. Usually the system curve changes in time. Control the position of the pump operating point for all possible pump operating modes. Some recommendations how to define the position of the pump operating point. First one. Measure inlet and discharge pressure. Define the pump head, measure the pump flow, define the pump operating point using the pump curve. But in many cases it's not possible to measure a pump flow. In this case we can measure inlet and discharge pressure, define the pump head, and using the pump curve find the flow and the pump operating point. But this method can be used if we know the model of the pump and the impeller diameter for sure. Make your pumping system efficient. 
If you need more information, please visit our website pumpsaudit.com.